Welcome back. Here's another video about Acme. This time I'm going to show you quickly how to do searches and a couple of navigation tools that I find useful. So it's not entirely obvious, but if you want to do a text search within a window, what you can do is you can pick the text that you want to search for. Sometimes the text is right here in the file. Sometimes it's not. But if you're trying to do something like, for example, find all references to this variable in the file, you can double click, double click, there we go. And that from this selection, I can right click and it finds any, any other occurrences of this text in the file. So I find this useful for doing things like call hierarchy, well, not call hierarchy, but find callers for a particular function or references of a particular variable. So let's right click. And it not only highlights, but it moves the cursor where the next match is in the file. Now, because the next match is again a selection, I can right click again and do another search. And I can keep rolling through the file by just right clicking through. And then as you can see here, I can get, go back even to the original, the original selection. So I find this kind of useful, non-intrusive. And in a lot of cases, it does what I want. So I think it's pretty good. I think something that caught me a bit by surprise is the fact that it moves my mouse cursor. I'm still kind of getting used to that myself, but there have been times in other editors where I do a search and I'm not quite sure where it found the match and spend some time trying to locate it. So Acme here at least makes it very obvious with the selection and by moving the mouse cursor. All right, so that that's how you can do a simple search. Now, if the text you're looking for is not readily available, then what you can do is you could just type the, what you want to search for in the title, the title line of the window here. And you can do the same thing. You can select it and then right click. And again, it sort of iterates through like it did before. So that's how you can do a search for a text where you don't have it readily available right on the uh, line that you're looking at in the file. Now one other thing that it's not quite related to search but I thought I would highlight because uh, it took me a while to realize this. Uh, in a lot of other editors you can match brackets so if I want to go and say well this is the end of a function but I want to find the beginning of that function. Uh, tools like Vim will highlight when you, uh, when you select one of the brackets, it'll highlight where the other bracket is. Um, Acme actually has a version of this that's not entirely obvious. So what you do is you pick one of the brackets and you double click. And what it does is it highlights, it selects everything that is within that, uh, the range of that bracket and its matching opposite bracket. So you can see this works even for if statement, it works for uh, curly braces, it looks works for round braces, round brackets. It even works for XML or HTML. Um, at least it does in this Ed Wood version of the Acme editor. Let's see if I can find a quick example. So here I have a div, and div if I double click here, highlights the div, but if I double click on the angle bracket, ah, maybe it doesn't work as well as I thought. Anyway, it, it did work for me earlier, but perhaps it, it's not entirely there for the, uh, the case of the uh, XML. Yeah, so that, that's pretty much all that I wanted to show you today. Hope this is useful. Thanks for watching.